Good morning, honeys, or evening, or afternoon, or whenever you happen to be watching this. Hi, hello, welcome back, I guess, <laughs> or welcome if you haven't, weren't here yesterday. Actually, none of us were here yesterday. I um, this is my Inktober second. My Inktober second. I told you the month of Halloween doesn't. <laughs> October doesn't exist. I just called it two completely different things. It is the month of Halloween and the month of October. This is my October, Inktober, Halloween second drawing, but I'm not actually going to upload it until the third because I had the hiccups all day yesterday. And also, I live out in Podunk Nowhere, and the upload slash download slash everything is pretty garbage. So I'm just going to set them to upload when I sleep, which means that my first week is going to be a little funny, I think, and next week I'm going to have to do Sunday to Thursday. Doesn't matter. No one cares. No one cares. Um, no one cares. <laughs> I should probably talk about the art, which was kind of a fight today. I really, really enjoyed this sketch, and I thought it was going to be so super cute, and that I was going to love it, and I... It's not that I don't like it, it's just that there's... I had the hiccups, first of all, the entire day. And the entire time that I was drawing this, I had the hiccups. And I kept waiting to see if they would go away, and eventually I was like, you know what? They're not gonna go away, I'm just gonna do this with the hiccups. Um, so I was very aware of myself, because I kept hiccuping and I was very tense which I don't know if that comes across in the art, but it certainly came across to me in the way that I was drawing. As I was just not as relaxed as I should have been or normally am. And also, I was having some technical problems with my pen. I don't know if you can really notice it when it's sped up, but there are some moments where I like scratch at the page and nothing comes out. And even though there was ink loaded into the like, I want to say into the barrel, but it's not a barrel, it's like a little chamber, whatever. There was ink on the pen, it just was gummed up because I didn't clean it well enough yesterday, I guess, and this ink is very thick. So I was fighting against that because I wasn't really realizing what was going on, and um, also I was just being hyper aware of myself, even more than normal when I have the camera on. I'm not... The camera and I aren't friends yet. Um, the idea for this drawing, these aren't specific characters, although I feel like I've drawn this bear before. I, at one point, like, I actually thought about putting, like, a sun hat on her and some flowers and things and just sort of giving her little bits of, like, more human touches. And then I realized, like I just said, and not to, I liked my original sketch too much. Um, but I have actually totally drawn, like, a cute little gardening bear. She had a sun hat and, like, big old gardening gloves and a rake, and she was just looking out at her. It, it's in my Tumblr gallery somewhere. And I feel like this must be the same bear. But she's not a, a character as far as I know. She was just a fun bear. I had this idea of a hedgehog and a bear being friends, and the hedgehog is telling the bear friend a secret. But I don't know what it is, unfortunately, because... The bear is the hedgehog's best friend, and the bear is who she tells the secrets to, and I'm not the bear. So I don't know what the secret is, but I think these two are probably really good friends, and I really liked the idea of drawing them together, and the idea of the bear, like, just holding the hedgehog like that. Mm. I really, yeah, I think I need to download an app to get rid of those flashing lights, because the iPhone auto camera is, like, auto-balancing my like white balance and it is making that flashing and I cut out some of the parts that I thought were actually pretty terrible and like eye searing to look at but I also left a good amount of them in the ones that weren't like a too terribly quick of a flash but I, I think there are apps like I can buy an app so that I can set the balance I shouldn't like in retrospect looking at this I wish I hadn't hatched the shading under her chin that like fur there. I wish I'd just done more heavy fur texture there. 
Um, I wasn't originally put in, planning to put any like color wash on it, although I did at the end because I was just like, the drawing didn't come out exactly how I looked because I spent so, or how much, how I imagined it because I spent so much time fighting with the pen trying to figure out what was going wrong because it was just not flowing properly. So I spent a lot of time like making slightly weird marks because I was hiccuping and I don't, I don't know if it shows too much, but things definitely weren't how I originally planned and it was just like, it was something that I just sort of had to keep going because I needed to do a picture today, or I wanted to do. I mean, if I didn't do a picture, no one's going to blame me, but I really wanted to do a picture today and I was really excited to do this picture specifically. And even though it didn't turn out exactly how I wanted, like, it's still kind of important to just go through and do it anyway, especially for... Especially because art isn't just a hobby for me. I've lived off of my ability to make an art for a very... to make an art, one single art. I've lived off of my ability to make art for a pretty long time. And I've learned that sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta push through it. Like I just, I, sometimes I just have to show up and make art, even though maybe I'm not feeling it. And I feel better for having pushed through it. And I, I once I made this post on Tumblr that was like, when you pick up your pen for the first time during the day, there's always some bad art in it and you just have to draw through it to get to the good art because like the art that's stored in the pen has backed up. And I, I think that's a very simplistic way of saying it, obviously, but when you're not liking what you're doing, you just kind of keep going, right? Because it'll get better. I will have done the parts that are bad and I did here, I did the parts that were just not really jiving with what I was feeling, and there are some places where the line just ended up a little bit kerfuffled, but I just had to keep going. I couldn't let that stop and like ruin the entire picture, because <sighs> if I stopped here because of one day where I wasn't feeling great, I was kind of not feeling completely in tune with the tool I was using, I wasn't really feeling in tune with myself. I wasn't really in the same mindset when I'd originally sketched this, so I wasn't having the same... I, w I was just tense. I was tense and my lines felt tense to me, whether or not they looked tense to you, they felt tense to me. And the experience of drawing, for me, is the most important part. I don't usually mind so much what it ends up looking like. I don't... When I look back at my old art, I'm not usually embarrassed because it was so bad. I can acknowledge that it's bad. Like, I've learned a lot, clearly. I don't... Like, I, I've looked... <sighs> Words are hard. I've grown so much since, you know, my very first drawings, and I've learned and I've changed, and the things that I've liked changed, and my techniques have changed my knowledge of like anatomy has grown, my visual library has grown, like I've changed so much as a person now from who I was when I first started drawing. So I can't look at those, but, but I wouldn't be who I am now if I hadn't done those original drawings. So I can look back at them when I was like 11 and see how bad they were and look at the ones when I was 16 and see how bad they are and look at the ones when I was 20 and see how much I've changed from then like because I made those drawings then I am who I am now as an artist I and I can't be embarrassed about them or want to throw them away or be ashamed of them or want to forget that they were there because when I look at them I don't see the bad art I see how much I enjoyed drawing it because that's what is that's really important to me that I guess I think that might be the most important thing about art for me is how I feel while I'm doing it and unfortunately this drawing like I was focused on other things and that kind of 
I was just focused on other things and it took me a while to settle into it, but by the end of the drawing, I was feeling a lot better. The lines were coming out better and I was happier with the with the look of them and how I, I was just happier with how my hand and my brain and my heart were in sync and I knew I I knew before I started this picture I was like I should sketch something really quickly and actually spend some time inking that to try and get more into the groove and maybe spend a little more time waiting for my hiccups to go away but unfortunately that's not what I did and I sort of messed myself up by doing that. I, I knew, I knew before I even opened my sketchbook, before I grabbed my pen, before I grabbed my ink well, I knew that that's what I should have done and I didn't do it. And I feel like my, it sounds weird to say my relationship with this picture, but I don't know how else to say it. Like my relationship with this picture was totally suffering in the beginning because I was so wrapped up in myself and how I felt and my worry about the camera and that's a shame but I'm pretty proud of myself for continuing to go through it and I finished the picture and I did throw some pretty haphazard watercolor on because I wanted some contrast I wasn't happy like not having any darker black spaces and I thought maybe redefining the form with watercolor a bit would help me bring back some of the feeling of the sketch and it did i don't really regret adding the watercolor i'm not sure if it improved the drawing but i don't regret adding it um goodness i went on a ramble after like the video ended so I have no idea how well this fits into the video or if I need to cut it down or if I need to extend the video or if I should just cut out the rambling at the beginning I don't know I didn't realize I had that much to say about how I felt about my art <laughs> but as for this picture um, I, I enjoy it at the end it wasn't what I expected and I really should have listened to myself and done a picture beforehand. Or I should have not had the hiccups. You know, one or the other. Uh, <laughs> but I'm excited for tomorrow's drawing. I think it's really funny. It's not the same sort of sweet moment that this one gives me. Like the idea of her picking her friend up to listen very closely to their small little voice to hear what they have to say just to her. It seemed like a really sweet moment between friends to me. And tomorrow is absolutely not that sort of sweet storybook sort of moment. Tomorrow is very silly and I'm looking forward to it. And that's it. I hope that's it. I, I think that has to be it. I love you. I give you kisses. Mwah.